So I want to show you guys how you can uh, how you can go about recording internet radio so that you can listen to it on your iPod or on your MP3 player. Now I'm I'm the kind of guy I love listening to internet radio. I've got my favorite uh, list of uh, online stations. If you've ever used Shoutcast, it's awesome to be able to go through and find all these radio stations that you can listen to online. Some of them are real uh, like FM radio stations that broadcast as well online uh, for their site viewers and things like that. And then some of them are actual internet-based radio stations, uh, like di.fm, very cool service. Sky.fm is, is a part of that, I believe. Uh, so there's, there's some great services out there, and it's just tapping into those and being able to listen to them. So you're not always at your computer, so you don't always have access to listening to those stations. So what I set out to do is just set up a nice little application for you so that you can do this yourself and be able to record these live internet radio stations onto your computer as MP3 files and then be able to transfer them to your MP3 player or iPod. So you click on Resources, and then go to Linux Scripts over here. And you'll see, currently it's down at the bottom. This is just alphabetical. A program called Radio to MP3. If you right-click on the download link and go Save Link As, and just throw that on your desktop, if you will, or wherever you'd like, and hit Save. It's a very, very tiny file, so it's going to be pretty much instantaneous. Once you've got that on your desktop, just right-click on that file and go Properties, Permissions, and just check off where it says allow executing file as program and then hit close. Now because I'm not a GUI programmer we're gonna have to jump into terminal no problem made it nice and easy for y'all uh, so at your terminal prompt just go CD desktop or wherever you put it remember it's case sensitive so it's desktop with a capital D and type dot slash and then radio to mp3 or just push RA and then tab to finish it off when you run that, you're going to see online streaming radio to MP3 converter. And I also added a, a feature, uh, number five there, if you want to burn it to a CD. So this will actually create a CD for you. And it will actually prompt you for a CD. Um, so when you choose how big you want to create the file, so if you've got, like, say, a 256 megabyte MP3 player, you can choose option number three. And then you can choose what genre you'd like to listen to. So you can choose, say, rhythm and dance. And then enter which station you want. And we've put in just a brief description of each station. So say we want Pulse Radio from France. We can click on number one. Oh, and I've had a bit of a bug. So 1.2 will be out tomorrow. But that's as simple as it is uh, most of the time. So uh, I haven't tried. Oh, you know what it is? Is I never installed Stream Ripper. I should have told you to do that. Uh, we need two applications. And when you're on our website, you're going to see that we need uh, those two applications. Stream Ripper is the big one. Uh, let's just go right back there. That would have helped, eh? I'm usually on my production system, but this time I'm on the uh, demo system. First time I've run it on there. If you look at the, uh, the text on Radio to MP3 on our website, you see the two uh, programs that are required, Stream Ripper and MPEG-123. So just back up a little bit and just go sudo apt-get. So pretend we did this first. Install. Stream Ripper, which is the program that I've used to actually copy the stream from the live feed, and then MPEG-123. Those two applications are required in order to make this happen. And once those are installed, this is apt-get, so it's a command line version of that Synaptic Package Manager, so to speak. And you can also do them through Synaptic Package Manager if you prefer. So once you've done that, it will actually log on to that feed as a listener, just as if you were like listening to that feed, and it's going to save them uh, the, the track, the, the recording, to MP3. Uh, if you create a CD as opposed to an MP3 file, uh, it will actually break up your tracks as well on the CD so that, uh, so that you can skip over to the next song and things like that or figure out which ones are your favorite songs. So that's very, very cool. So just a little bit of a cool little application for you. Totally free, right off our website, category5.tv. Um, I got a question about that, Robbie. Yeah. If you're listening online, can you record a song that you hear? Using that app? Yeah. Um, you could use Stream Ripper to do that. This application okay. is more um, because what, and the reason that you couldn't use this is because it actually skips over the first song. Because if you started oh. this application halfway through a song, you would only get half of that song. So that would just be disappointing oh, okay. if it was a great song, right? right. So yeah. it actually waits until the next song before it starts recording. Okay. So I kind of so thought that through, but you could use Stream Ripper. So if you look okay. at the source code, you could learn how to do that. It's pretty straightforward. Or just once you've installed Stream Ripper, just type Stream Ripper dash dash help. Okay. Cool.
it's neat because you can actually download internet-based stations. But what's different about this versus StreamRipper, StreamRipper, you need to know the stream uh, URL, where this, I've kind of already pre-programmed it with a bunch of different radio stations in all different genres. Okay. And I'll be maintaining that list. So if anyone has a, a station that they'd like to add to that, they can just kind of email me and I'll consider adding it to the list as well.